Welcome, everyone, to the Investigator-Initiated Trials Roles and Responsibilities. I am Gary Freeman, and I have over 30 years' experience in the drug and device industries. This webinar is going to highlight the important role that the investigator plays in this type of trial, where this individual is serving as both the investigator and the sponsor. We sometimes call these investigator-initiated trials. Other times, we may call them sponsor investigator trials, SI trials. So don't get confused with the acronyms we're using. For today's presentation, we will go with the IIT, Investigator Initiated Trial. This is the same as the Sponsor Investigator Study, where the investigator is obligated by the responsibilities for the investigator as well as the sponsor to the regulatory authorities. Often, the investigator fulfills his or her role as an investigator because they've been used to working for pharmaceutical or device companies as the investigator. And they've had the guidance then of the regulatory people and the clinical monitors from a sponsor company. In this type of study, that may not be the case. There are a lot of different types of IIT studies. Many sponsors do hold a tremendous role in this organization. Others hold no role. They may provide the drug or provide the device and back right off from all other obligations since the IND is held by the investigator or by the academic setting and not by the sponsor. This is a legal obligation, so you want to be looking at the contractual situation as to who can do what on that particular study. The pharmaceutical companies, legal folks, are very particular about how that contract will be written. And so it should be clear to you as an investigator or as a group working on that study for an investigator what the obligation is going to be, how much control the sponsor will have on that study. It needs to be identified in that initial contract. So since the investigator here is now serving as the investigator and the sponsor, this often involves a lack of sponsor responsibilities that are known by the investigator because he or she has been used to having that support structure. 